We all know that when something doesn't work, you reset it, right? A reboot often fixes it. A piece of technology or phone, a, sometimes a webcam doesn't work, I have to reboot my computer. Try rebooting your brain. I'm gonna give you my five keys, uh, really quick keys. Um, they're all gonna be common sense, and hopefully you'll turn them into common practice, that uh, the five steps that I'm taking people through right now to reset your brain. When we experience stress, our brains prepare for fight, flight, or freeze. It's, it's not the place you want to study in. It's not the place where you're going to get the best out of yourself. It's not the place uh, where you're going to ponder possibilities and perform. And so our cognitive abilities are limited when our mind feels overwhelmed. When there's lots of process, work, family, health, the world, life in general, the connection between an overstressed brain and the rest of your body can have some serious impact right on your productivity and your peace of mind and I've noticed that one of the biggest problems people are facing right now is uncertainty because you don't feel safe and we know that stress triggers you know when we lose a sense of control it, it, we, we feel stress we feel anxiety and you, you feel like you don't have control in the present you can't predict the future because you don't know what tomorrow is going to look like and you're glued on the social media and the news because if it bleeds, it leads, and your, your amygdala gets hijacked by, by the news. What's threatening, what's dark, you know, what's scary. And your brain has an algorithm, as we've talked about, just like Instagram and Facebook here, because whatever you engage with the most, you get more of. You watch cat posts, videos, share, like them, then the social media gives you more cats. Well, your, your brain is the same way, so stand guard to your brain, right? And because if you're just focusing on what's dark and threatening, you're going to see more of that. And it doesn't leave you bandwidth to focus on possibility, on what you'd be grateful for, on, on opportunity. We go down a wild rabbit hole of, it's endless, what ifs, what if this, what if this, what if this. So how do you reboot your brain? When you want to reset your brain, the goal is you don't want to necessarily start out by painting a picture of a, of a positive future. You can do that, certainly, because your imagination is very powerful. Where I would start is doing little, tiny, small, simple steps to make you feel safe in the moment. Because when we don't feel safe, we go into fight, we go into flight, we go into freeze. We're not going to get the best out of us. So we need to feel safe. So I put together an acronym. Um, so RESET is the acronym I'm going to use. R-E-S-E-T. So what does the R stand for? If you want to feel safe, I would start by routine. Really look into your routines. I believe the treasure you seek is hidden in your daily routine. I would focus on especially routines around your sleep, most important. Um, your devotion to motion. Uh, what's your routine for moving? Taking your thoughts and putting them on paper. How many of you journal on a regular basis? And that's a wonderful way to reduce anxiety. It's a wonderful way to help you process uh, what you're going through, to give yourself uh, an emotional release. And going to emotional release, that's the E, okay? So we're just talking about the five keys to resetting your brain, resetting your 2020. The E stands for emotions. Now, what do I mean by emotions? First of all, I would say honor them. Honor them. Don't resist them. Don't feel bad because you were, you're going to go through this year. How many of you went through a spectrum of emotions this year? I mean like the full spectrum of emotions. And so don't resist because what you resist persists. If you try not to do it, you're going to do it more. But you know, journaling is a great way of processing them. Talk therapy is a wonderful way of processing them. Um, Having connection with people is a wonderful way of processing them, meaning that you could be physically distant, but you don't have to be socially distant. We're, we're connecting here. You don't have to be mentally distant. The S in reset stands for sever. What does it mean to sever? Sever means to disconnect, to separate, right? Um, to enjoy some genuine time offline. And that's kind of ironic, right? Because we are online right now. But when, sometimes when we're on screens all the time, it gets difficult because it becomes addictive. How many of you saw Social Dilemma? How the billions of dollars are being spent and some of the top minds, you know, uh, psych psychologists, like I, on to keep you engaging in a platform, right? They make more money the more time people spend. There's a whole lab at Stanford that teaches students how to apply persuasive psychology principles into technology to persuade people to use products in a certain way. And here's the thing, technology is not good or bad. 
fire is not good or bad. Fire can cook your food or it can burn down your home. It's how you utilize it. So, you know, again, technology I love allows us to connect, allows us to, you know, to instruct, allows us to inspire. But technology is using you. Technology is a tool for you to use, but technology is using you, then you become the tool. Life is the C between B and D. What's B? Birth. D is death. C is what? C is choice. C is the choice. That these difficult times can define you, these difficult times can diminish you, or these difficult times can develop you. Ultimately, you decide with the choices you make every single day. And we always have a choice. A choice on what to focus on. A choice of what things mean. Now, the E stands for explore. Explore. Now, I, I love this one because I think curiosity is one of the most important emotions to, uh, to cultivate along with gratitude. When you're curious, you don't feel as much fear, just like when you are grateful. So what can you explore, right? We're talking about resetting yourself. Part of it is getting curious and maybe you want to find a new playlist. Maybe you want to try a new workout. Maybe you want to try a new food. Asking yourself this question, what's most important to me in life? What's most important to me in my family? What's most important to me in my career, in my job, in my contribution, in my impact, right? And then lean into that, explore that, see where your passions, even with your kids too, see where their passions go, see where they're, give them enough stimulus and novelty. To build your brain mental muscle, same thing as your physical muscles. You give it novelty and give it nutrition, right? You give it stimulus, you work it out, and then you feed it with nutrition. Same thing with your brain. Your brain thrives on novelty. And then finally, the T and reset. My fifth tip for you to be able to think about when you want to reset your brain, reset your mind, get a mental reboot, a reboot your year if you want, will, is to really think. And when I say think, I mean dream again, hope again. A lot of people, they pursued a career because of their parents, right? They didn't date somebody because, you know, they were afraid of what other people would think. But it's what's your truth? Because that's the whole thing when it talks about regret. A lot of people, they have unfulfilled pasts and you don't, you don't want that to be you. If you're watching this, it's certainly not you. But now, when is now a great time to change that, right? There's that proverb, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time, today. Right now, I'm talking to you. Now is the time to do it. And so dream again, imagine, and your time is valuable. And I know your time and your attention is something that, um, that I don't take for granted. That's why I, I always want to give you a hundred percent, but take a moment and imagine what you want most. Just dream again. Do not shrink your dreams to meet this current situation. Upgrade your mindset, your motivation, your methods to be able to meet your biggest dreams, your destiny. But imagine what you want most, see it, feel it, believe in it, and then work daily for it. We all know that when something doesn't work, you reset it, right? A reboot often fixes it. The piece of technology or phone, a, sometimes a webcam doesn't work, I have to reboot my computer. Try rebooting your brain. You know, choose one or more of these activities. You don't have to do all five. And then see if you feel as though your reset has allowed space for peace, allowed space for uh, performance, allowed space for an upgrade. And remember this, just in closing, that inner peace is the new success. Connection is a new currency. Happiness is a new rich. And keep at it. There is a version of you that you haven't met yet.